South Africa has a good record in the Zabil Mile, Mike de Kock having won it three times. Now though, there's a new name in town. Mike's former assistant Brett Crawford is here with one of the best recent exports, 2017 Sun Met winner Whiskey Baron. Whiskey Baron. The year old is boarding at Blue Stables and was undergoing some equiscope therapy when we went to visit. Mike has helped us a lot uh, settling the horse in and um, given us some good guidance. He's been here for many years. Um, I have been here many, many years ago uh, on the old racetrack, so it's really nice to see what they've done and uh, facilities are fantastic. So um, we're looking forward to Whiskey Baron making his debut on Thursday. Whiskey Baron finished six on his only start in Europe at Newmarket and the Zabil Mile will be very much a prep for bigger targets later on. Uh, the plan was actually initially to go to Hong Kong in, in December. Uh, he had a run end of September, but then he, he didn't come out the run well and we had to put, you know, put him on the easy list for a while. But he's come back really good and he's been in Dubai since uh, beginning mid-December. Mid so we've had a lot of time to put some good groundwork into him. Uh, we do feel he just needs one run to really tighten him up. Um, he still looks a little bit big. But um, he, he's in good form and he, he's done well up to now, so we're very happy. We'll, we'll sharpen him up with a race on Thursday and then two weeks' time into the 1800. And, um, you know, I'm sure we'll see a different horse uh, from run to run. Whiskey Baron, who has been accompanied throughout his journey by groom Dan, also seems to have a super relaxed temperament. He's been an absolute dream to travel with and I think that's probably his biggest asset. Nothing phases him at all. Um, probably to the contrary that you know he doesn't take his head out the manger so it mm. makes it a bit harder to get the weight off him but um, he, he's been an absolute dream to travel with. What would his best trip be if you feel? He's such a versatile horse you know if you look at his form he's won from six furlongs to ten furlongs um, so you know I, I think probably between a mile to two thousand is, is his optimum mm. so you know this program suits us down to the ground. And in a race, sort of, where do you, where does he normally place? Well, you, you know, he, he's definitely been a horse that likes to run at horses. So, you know, he's always been midfield, but he, he can race handy if need be. But, um, you know, I think in his comeback run, uh, looking at the norms, I think there'll be speed on. So I'm sure on Thursday, you know, he'll come, he'll have a bit to do. Um, and we just want to see him finish his race off well. And you've had some very nice horses in, in your career. Where would he rank? Would he be one of one of the best, or would he be the best? Well, look, you know, he's he's been a horse that since we cut him, um, he won five in a row. Um, then he went to to England and obviously had his run, but that was in very soft ground, which he hated. He's a big horse. He weighs five seventy kilos, and he just struggled with the ground. So it's it's hard to assess, you know, off that English run. But um, you know, South African form since being gelded has been phenomenal. Um, he, he shows us on all his readings at home, um, you know, the speeds he can get up to, his stride length, his recovery, you know, he, he, he's right up there. I mean, I think he's well worth his 118 rating. Mm, okay. And obviously you've done really well back home. Um, I think 2009 was, was when you set up. Has, has international travelling has it always been something you've wanted to do? Yes, I mean, without a doubt, you know, I feel um, as a trainer the only way to grow and, um, and gain knowledge is by travelling. Um, so it's definitely always on the list if you get a horse, but it's not just the horse, you need the owners. I've been very fortunate enough to have Ridgemont uh, behind me, and it's been one of their dreams as well to, to travel. So when you get the combination together, if you get the horse and the clients that want to do it, you know, you have to give it a bash. Sure.